Concrete Basics Overview This section of the manual covers the fundamentals of concrete. New AMVIC ICF installers should review this information before proceeding to the following section which deals with concrete placement techniques recommended for AMVIC ICF. Concrete Fundamentals Concrete Composition Concrete is a mixture of paste and aggregate. The paste binds the aggregate, sand and gravel or crushed stone, into a rock-like mass. Cement paste is also known as binder. The paste is composed of cement, supplementary cementitious materials, water, and purposely entrained air. Cement paste ordinarily constitutes about 25 to 40 percent of the total volume of concrete. The volume of cement is usually between 7 and 15 percent and the water between 14 and 21 percent. Air content ranges up to about 8 percent of the volume of the concrete. There are many different types of cement available, but for the purpose of this manual, we will concentrate on the most common, Portland cement. In the United States, Portland cements will meet the specifications set forth by the ASTM C150. ASTM standards are the most widely used and referenced specifications for cement and concrete materials. ASTM C150 covers eight types of Portland cement. In Canada, Portland cements are manufactured to meet the specifications of the Canadian Standards Association. There are five different types of cements covered under this standard. Aggregates, also known as filler. There are two categories of aggregate used in concrete. Coarse aggregates, such as gravel, with particle sizes ranging in size from 6 inch to about 0.05 inches or 1.3 millimeters. Fine aggregate, such as sand, consists of natural or manufactured sand with particle sizes ranging from 3 eighths of an inch to dust size. The selection of aggregates used in concrete is important, since it makes up approximately 60 to 75 percent of the total volume of concrete. Aggregates should consist of particles with adequate strength and resistance to exposure conditions, and should not contain materials that will cause a chemical reaction with the paste that may lead to deterioration of the concrete, such as sulfates or chlorides. Quality of the concrete mix Water-cement ratio the most important factor which determines the quality of a concrete mix is the quantity of water used versus the quantity of cement used by weight, also known as the water-cement ratio. Water is a critical ingredient in the cement paste. It causes the hardening of concrete through a process called hydration. This is a chemical reaction in which the major compounds in cement form chemical bonds with water molecules and become hydrates or hydration products. This causes the paste to harden and binds the concrete ingredients together. Too much water reduces concrete strength, while too little will make the concrete unworkable. Concrete needs to be workable so that it may be consolidated and shaped into different forms, such as walls and columns. Because concrete must be both strong and workable, a careful balance of the cement to water ratio is required when making concrete. Concrete strength. There are two types of concrete strengths, compressive and flexural. For most intended structural purposes, the compression strength is what concerns the design engineer. Compressive Strength Test The cylinder test according to ASTM C39 standard is the test most commonly used for determining concrete compressive strength in the US, Canada, and continental Europe. A 12-inch high by 6-inch wide cylinder of concrete is cast and cured for the appropriate time, usually 28 days. It is then compressed between the two parallel faces. The stress at failure is taken to be the compressive strength of the concrete. It is generally expressed in pounds per square inches, or megapascals at an age of 28 days. Concrete mix strengths used in ICF will most likely range between 2,500 and 4,000 PSI. Flexural Strength Test Flexural strength is the strength of concrete to bending and is usually measured using ASTM C78 standard with a simple beam and third point loading. Most general use concrete has a flexural strength between 500 to 700 PSI. Concrete Workability Workability is the ease of transporting, placing, consolidating, and finishing freshly mixed concrete. Workability depends on water-cement ratio, admixtures, aggregate, the shape and size distribution, and age, the level of hydration. Raising the water content or adding plasticizer will increase the workability. Slump Test Workability is usually measured using the slump test, according to the ASTM C143 standard, using the slump or Abrams cone. This is an inverted cone, 12 inches tall, and is open on both ends. The top is 4 inches wide and the bottom is 8 inches wide. Fresh concrete is placed in the cone and rotted with a steel rod to compact the concrete. The cone is removed and placed next to the pile of concrete. The difference between the top of the slump cone and the top of freshly molded concrete is the slump. 
a relatively dry sample will slump very little and be given a slump of one or two inches, while a relatively wet concrete sample may slump as much as six or seven inches. Concrete curing. This is the process by which the environment, temperature and humidity, enclosing the fresh poured concrete is controlled for a specific period of time to allow the concrete mix to achieve its design strength and durability. The hydration process during which water and cement react and harden takes place generally over two stages. The first stage takes place quickly and is sometimes over in a few hours, where the concrete mix basically turns into a solid mass. The second stage is a much slower one, during which the hydration process continues and concrete keeps gaining strength. This can even take up to several years. Without water, this elongated hydration process would actually stop. Imagine if we were to leave freshly poured concrete in the open air. The humidity within the concrete mix would drop very quickly until there would not be enough to sustain the hydration process, causing it to stop altogether. This would prevent the concrete from gaining its required design strength. A major benefit in using Envic insulating concrete forms is that they are a stay-in-place forming system. The EPS panels enclose the concrete mass, creating an optimum environment and preventing the moisture in the concrete from evaporating for an extended period of time as opposed, as opposed to conventional forming systems. This means that the concrete will keep hardening and gaining strength over the long term, without the need to use additional expensive curing methods or agents. Entrained air, micro air pockets. Entrained air consists of microscopic air bubbles introduced in concrete by adding certain admixtures. The microscopic bubbles provide space within the paste to relieve hydraulic pressure when concrete freezes in cold weather. Without the bubbles, the paste may crack when it freezes because water expands 9% in volume when it turns to ice. Entrained air also has the effect of improving the workability of fresh concrete. Entrapped air, macro air pockets. Entrapped air consists of large air voids which get trapped in concrete during mixing and placing. Entrapped air lowers concrete quality and strength and proper concrete consolidation should always be used to eliminate the air voids as much as possible. Concrete admixtures. Admixtures are materials other than cement, aggregate, and water that are added to concrete either before or during its mixing to alter its properties such as workability, curing temperature range, set time, or color. There are two main types of admixtures widely available in the market, chemical and mineral. Tables 10.1 and 10.2 outline the uses of admixtures used in concrete. Mineral admixtures affect the nature of the hardened concrete through hydraulic or pozzolanic activity. Pozzolans are cementitious materials and include natural pozzolans such as volcanic ash used in Roman concrete, fly ash, and silica fume. Specifications of concrete for Anvic ICF. The following table provides suggested concrete mix specifications to be used with Anvic ICF. This table is only a guideline and the design engineer may choose to deviate from the given values as required.